Y'all already know what it is. The Fellas Fellas Tour this weekend coming to San Fr- San Jose. San Jose. Tacoma. Sold out. Added another show. Los Angeles, Cleveland, Chicago, Cincinnati, Columbus, Charlotte, Greensboro, Rally, Austin, Detroit, Portland, Phoenix, Plano, Toronto, the six. You already know what it is. Those tickets are moving real fast. Four shows, Baltimore and Buffalo all available to come see the kid. Let's get into it. The boys, it's the boys cast. The lads, it's the boys cast. The dudes, prepare yourself for boys cast. The pros, it's the boys cast. The homies, it's the boys cast. The dudes, it's the boys cast. The boys cast. So. I did a quick perusal of trying to find health care, right? Because I know yeah. that you're a safe man. I'm a safe man. You know, you're not a guy safe that lives man. on the edge quite like me. No. I typed my, my email in and my number to try to get a quote on what my thing is. You put your age in there. You put, you know, they say strength. I say very. <laughs> <laughs> Athletic ability. I say NBA level. Uh, yeah, catch me in the gym, dog. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah come, come catch me in the gym and ask me about that. That's you're gonna turn you up a okay, little bit. Yep. Yeah, a little juice for the kid. A little juice for the kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then so you know, I'm posting all this sort of stuff, and then, um, basically, what happens is I post my number there. Since then, I have, and I'm. This isn't exaggerating. I have maybe eighty five missed calls. Yeah, big business, buddy. These people. I'm These telling you, people. it's it's out of control what they're up to. So 85 calls, and half of them leave messages, half of them don't, and I'm I'm, blo- I'm blocking numbers. I can't block them what fast the, enough. What are the messages like? They're like, hey, we saw you're interested in insurance. That's and- that's a, some of them are like that. Most of them they hang up on you. There was, <laughs> if it was one number, problem solved, right? Well, there's 50 insurance companies. That's the thing. And, and they're all you're gonna go through the whole thing and the difference between the most expensive one and the least expensive one is gonna be ten dollars i'm on a sucker's list yeah, yeah 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 so i'm on this list that basically i'm sure that no one's dumb enough to do it i put my number down they go ding 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 they yeah. ring the bell they go <laughs> we got one fellas they all all these fucking like insurance sellers like scurry out like cockroaches was it the state of new york <laughs> website that you did that's, that's what they, that's what it sounded like the people you go crawling out from underneath that, that's what the messages sound like i say i go hey what's going on they go mr you want insurance maybe they're all it's a bunch of people that are ball they're chained up to a radiator in the the basement of some insurance company the funny thing is if you think you're mad now wait till you find out how much it is yeah oh no i never even got that far so basically i decided that well so one of the or two of the people I said, I go, take me off your list. She goes, I can't do that. Click. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> These people aren't held to any sort of community so, standard. What's the, so what happens if you sign, say like you did your thing and they probably don't know. I'll you, tell you, you what. You sign up and what, you have to tell all of them I, I Honest up? to God, bet you if I said, yeah, yeah, I'd be interested in signing. They go, we, I've never actually gotten this far. <laughs> <laughs> um... Can I get a supervisor? <laughs> I don't know what to do at this point. I, I don't think any of them ever had it's that. Like going through the book of the that, fucking manual. Like, I'm I'm picturing some lady with just 95 phones. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, she's got a helmet on with two phones. She's like dialing with both hands at the same time. N- never once is she. They don't even leave messages except for maybe like one in ten leaves a message. So I've and I didn't listen to it. You can just you know yeah, voice the message, of course. But. So I decided that as a uh, a uh, protest to that, that I'm definitely not getting it now. <laughs> <laughs> Living him. on the edge. Whereas Dan, well, I get it. If I, you know, if I had your build, if I was, you know, a little older like you, I'm not worried about any of that shit. I'm worried about hitting, hit, get hit by a bus. I'm be worried about the bus if I get hit <laughs> by a bus. It's gonna be, they're gonna be worried about the bus's problem. I said that, 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 that bus shows. needs to get new insurance. Ryan Long insurance. <laughs> They go, they go, we need a bus for this bus. <laughs> that's what they call ambulances yeah. on the cop show. I don't know if you're familiar I, with I that. I did not know. Yeah, that's what, that's a lingo. I don't watch, I hate the, that the lingo that you're not familiar with. Lingo. I have been watching uh, Cops nonstop, though. Yeah. That's not up your alley, though, right? It's not in my alley, but it's okay. There's uh, that, the Pluto, one of those like channels. Is it new cops or old cops? They're new cops. So there's, Cops is one of my favorite shows, okay? And because of the Black Lives Matter stuff, they canceled it. 
Right. right, all the cop shows got canceled. Right, because it's all black guys. No, it's not. Or but they just were. I'm sure it's a lot of that. It's a lot of everything, dude. Depends the, on what. There's probably no depends on where shortage you are. of trailer parks in Florida full of white. But that's what I mean. Cops. It depends on where you are. If it's cops in like downtown Chicago, it's probably a certain thing. And if it's cops in like you know rural, Florida, dude, they're it's mostly in Florida. Thing. Honestly, okay. I don't even think. So, but that's what I mean. They pro- my guess it's majority was white be people that they started up cops again, and they're just like they pick like super no, white towns. No, 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 they're still pre-COVID <laughs> ones. No, cops has never been super black it's it's not like that it's okay. like it's because they're mostly I just, just remember like, the Steven Seagal no it's mostly white black. trash it's mostly white trash gotcha. but anyways this Pluto TV thing which is like uh, you know has all these free live channels and then they just have a cops channel mm-hmm. it's literally 48 episodes of cops a day really it's amazing yeah. yeah it is weird though you think that if they were going to start up cops again it would have to be like the bad boys bad boy and they're talking about the cops you know yeah <laughs> They're all just arresting other cops. Yeah. It's all c- cops, citizen arrest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's citizens arresting the cops. Exactly. Not even a proper citizen. That's kind of what I was thinking it would be. Yeah. But you're saying no. that. Yes, well, I don't know. They're not post COVID. They're all pre COVID stuff. Isn't that sort of. Oh, okay. They just. Pl- they're all, all the just old like drugs, domestic violence. It's all the usual. But stuff. this is old episode. They've, yeah. But don't you think that is sort of like an allegory for everything in the world where it's like everything like shut it down and then two years later they like slowly let's like creep yeah, it back there's in? Just, there's no PR release. <laughs> they're like, we're yeah. back. And you'll just find out. You go, oh. Live PD, <laughs> remember Live PD? They get rid of that too. Yeah, they all got rid of runs, dude. When they were pro, when cops became the worst people in America, like George Floyd, they're like, yeah, there's no cop shows anymore. Not Blue Bloods. Blue no, Bloods. No, no, they no, were doing like a. a that's a, fiction. Yeah, Blue Bloods. It was like the, the, there's like there's a witch hunt for cops kind of. Vibe. No, yeah, no. All the real cop shows like with that actually t- are real. That they got they axed all of them. Because they can't what glorify was the, what that. was the Canadian one to serve and protect? Gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the worst. Did you ever see serve they and protect? They had even smaller the ones. Day? They had ones that were like sub, like the municipality cop shows, like in these like tiny towns. And it was like, you know, Joe Brown is wanted for littering. Like they had no <laughs> That's what cases. the serve and protect was. They're like, oh, someone stole a couple Timbits. <laughs> like, honestly, it's even though it's like, <laughs> seems so like, ha- like it honestly was that. It would be like the most, all petty crimes. And a guy took like, fo- a guy took a two pe- an extra penny from the take a penny, leave a totally, penny. Totally, honestly. Thing. And like, there, there was no chases <laughs> to serve and protect. It looked super Canadian and shitty. It was not a good show. And they always like, the cop would see the person and they know each other by name. <laughs> Stop it. Go, hey, George. Get out here. in the on back. <laughs> Heard, so you, heard you ding some old Timbits. Uh, <laughs> come on, what are you doing there, pal? He goes, sorry, bud. I just love Timbits. Well, you know, you can't do that, though, right? <laughs> Small town cop show. And honestly, that's what the servant protect is so shitty. All right, you know, t- all right, Tommy, what happened? You beat up the wife again? He goes, all right, you get- I told you you get two. You can't want to start giving her that third. <laughs> it's honestly the classic thing of how You Canada- know, we talked about you giving her rib shots, yeah. don't Yeah, come on, buddy. <laughs> Grab the phone book if you're going to hit her. Doesn't leave a mark. Uh this is classic Canada thing where they, they do everything worse and then they're also copy everything. Come on, Randy. Don't talk. Take the ski mask off. We're going to talk man I know man it's here. you. Take the ski mask off. <laughs> ah, you got me. That's so funny. Small town cops. They know each other. <laughs> it is. That's what Deserve and Protect was. Well, that was the, the Steven Seagal shit. one. They, all like print, they go, it's Steven motherfucking Seagal? Yeah. They all, every time the cops would see him, they'd be all like pumped with him, right? And then he, but he was like a man of the people in the cop show. Yeah, of course. Did he, did the, did it like, anybody ever act out and then like a PA or like the director would have to be like, all right, caught. He goes, so Steven's going to do some moves on you. If you could just kind of play along with him, he's going to try and <laughs> yeah, yeah, do a yeah. judo flip. Cause it's in the real one, actually flip you. Yeah. But just if you could play along he's in the actual version, it would be Steven's going to try and moves on them and be like, what's he doing? <laughs> what, you know, it's just like, <laughs> and the guy's like, "What? Is, what is this?" No, no, just fall down. <laughs> just fall down. We'll give you less time if you yeah, fall, just down. fall down. All right, listen. We've been authorized to give you six less years <laughs> if you're willing to take a tumble after Steven Seagal hits you. <laughs> Can you cry on pain, please? 
Just cry out in pain. Yeah, small town okay. cops is very like, oh, we heard you in, we heard you embezzle ten bucks from the from the so- the junior tyke soccer team's uh, <laughs> Pizza Hut fund, and you know that's a, that's a crime down oh, here, right? Yeah, uh, uh, sorry. So you were gonna give you twenty four hours to pay it back, and you know there's gonna be no questions asked. You just gotta give us the seven dollars. <laughs> seven dollars, dude. That's on that was to, to serve all our Canadian listeners know to serve and protect probably, and how crappy it was. I actually don't remember serve and protect. You don't know, remember serve? Ah, oh, so bad. Brutal. So that's for me not getting insurance because I'm a bit of a bad boy for life. Oh. Yeah, that's the same. You don't know what it's like living that bad boy life, man. Danny's out here. Oh, if I get hit, I'm insured. He's got insurance on everything. He's got to get in his fucking. I don't have insurance on insured. everything. The only thing I have insurance on is my that. It's and it's honestly uh, the only thing I care about is if I ever had something catastrophic. This whole country is designed to bankrupt you if something happens. That is true. That's the only, I, it's, dude. I don't have they're health designed insurance. to bankrupt you anyway through but, paying all the money every year. Yeah. Well, I don't have health insurance. I have bankruptcy insurance. Like if if you get bankrupt from a you know from a health thing. Yeah. But I'm my insurance that fatter I fatter guy sits on you in an ironic <laughs> twist of fate. <laughs> But like literally, my insurance is bankruptcy insurance, not health insurance. It and is you still pay insurance. a fucking out the wazoo. Yeah, it's, I mean, you know what? You've it been is, paying. It's I this pay, is Danny. Tell me when to stop, dude. Sarah. I had a guy come up to me at, at the Whole Foods yesterday because I'm talking about my because I was just about to say how much, oh, I, that's how much I pay you. how much I pay for the uh, my insurance, which is I pay like three hundred dollars a month, which is honestly pretty cheap for here. Yeah, Canadians are like that's insane, but I treat it like a car. I, uh, in my mind, I go like, if I had a car and it was three hundred dollars a month, yeah, you like, like that's prostitutes in the back. Yeah, you know the whole thing. But a guy came up to me at Whole Foods yesterday, and he t- I was I had my headphones, and he taps me on the elbow or whatever, and I take him out. He goes, "Hey, uh, I heard you." Uh, he goes, "You got a thousand bucks for all your stuff when you're just gonna throw it out anyways. Pretty good, huh?" And I go like, "No what? way!" I swear to God, and that's so walking, funny. And like, Yo, I love that. I, I thought it was so funny. I was like laughing. I was like, yeah, that rule. He goes, dude, you got a thousand bucks. You're going to throw you your shit out. For yeah, you. he goes, Sick. fuck goes, yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> got to celebrate the wins. Yeah, well, that. in addition to that, I'm currently banned from Facebook for another 24 hours. Ugh. I'm banned from TikTok. You know what was making me laugh? Dude, the us, idea. Us digital banned from stuff, me with Airbnb. Airbnb. You from Airbnb, me from Lyft. I'm telling you, people don't. That, that, it was making me laugh, the idea of just being so trapped in the digital world you know because we're digital boys in a digital, digital world boys, right yeah. and i'm way too much of an online guy especially running you know an online company or whatever right so i just like the idea of talking to a normal person and you're just like yeah man it's like fucking tough out there i'm banned from tiktok currently the guy's like yeah you think that's bad i'm banned from cvs <laughs> like <laughs> guys, a lot of people in the comments actually <laughs> last week about you're talking about the the bug man riseth and all these because all, all these people are like yeah what do we do? you're like if shit goes down i don't need to know how to run a discord server <laughs> well yeah well we'll see who has the last laugh when i'm well anyways i won't even be able to get my message out to people to come save me because again i'm banned from all these places but yeah then the guy being like yeah i know i know what you're talking about man you're banned from facebook i'm banned from seeing my kids yeah yeah he's like i can't go within 50 feet of a school (laughs) yeah just a couple me both pal just a couple guys that are banned (laughs) from things you know what i mean Yeah, I got banned from the local uh, Grace O'Malley's and from for getting in a fight with the bartender when I was taking a lunch break, <laughs> tying on a couple. Yeah. yeah, the ex-wife and her new boyfriend walked in. I got into a little bit of a tiff with him. I Fuck. guess you can't say that Fuck anymore. Fucking grabbed a pool ball and knocked him unconscious. Cancel culture, huh? <laughs> yeah, you you got banned from TikTok <laughs> for you know doing sexual content. Uh, I was jerking off at the fucking uh, jerking off at Wendy's. I had the same thing, dude. You can't you can't do th- you can't do anything anymore. This goddamn tech overlords huh <laughs> yeah. just not allowing us to have any fun the tech overlords wouldn't let me call my server at the baron firkin a bitch <laughs> so i'm with you pal yeah just a couple guys that are united canceled with everything and i'm glad to be getting out of the exactly out of the area because one of the new things that i'll say now but i didn't want to air him out is the bodega guy who i like it just went down one day he just had no teeth anymore yeah so he just he's you've seen the no teeth right of course. Wait, what, you, you've been waiting this whole time to. He doesn't listen to this. Eh, he, they, no, the guys. Yes, they do. And so what? Now that I'm like a big, I'm big celebrity. Down there. <laughs> yeah, I see him all the time. <laughs> no, but those guys do pay attention. But you're saying they're thinking watching the pod. They, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. They're internet monitors. I'm not fucking Zucker. One of your people, Zuckerberg. <laughs> your overlord people. Overlord peoples. I don't know what they're doing. 
They're running a bodega. I listen. I see him too much. I didn't want to air him out. Yeah, yeah. I was got no teeth now. These guys straight up work at a bodega nineteen hours a day. He's got no teeth. I know. And then he walked up. He was like telling me, you know, you see him, and he's like, "Ah, "That's a hot one out there." And you're like, "Yeah." And also, what happened to your teeth? I know. It was shocking because one day he just had no teeth, and I I still don't know. Which is weird too because he upgraded his bodega. Yeah, he had this little bodega, and then he got this sick new corner bodega. Paid for with the teeth. And I guess he was like bodega or teeth. I think so. Or I, he's because that area is, has so many crazies where he goes, you know what? He probably leaves to go home. And he pops the teeth back in. He's sending a message. All these crazies go, yeah, I'm dude, fucking out crazy. Uh, here. Yeah, I got no teeth. You want to fuck around? That is a pretty good strategy. Possible. You know, it's like I, I always had this old idea where I said it would be a really good um, uh, uh, like a, one of my uh, inventions. But I think it would only be able to be sold at like a Spencer's Joke Shop type area. Mm. But I really think a good scam would be if you sold uh, online. So it'd be like an online company that I'd be starting. And it would be fake cauliflower ears for guys, right? So they had that. I did a commercial for it. Huh? It was like this. <laughs> actually, I did a. What are you what, talking about? So they had. My idea. It's not your idea because it exists. They're called. Collies. I actually put it in a movie seven or eight years ago that I wrote. So, uh, well, so okay, these ones were joke size ones. They weren't normal. That's what size. I said. There's probably yeah people. These to make were a joke these were joke ass. size ones. But I don't want joke size ones. Yeah. I'm saying real dude. You're at a bar with a guy, and the guy's like, you're you're just like, hey, this guy uh, keeps hitting on your girl. You pop on the cauliflower ears before That's you go. You better leave yeah, her alone. Yeah, and they're just like a little bigger than your actual ears. No, they're the exact same size. They're like they can't ex- be the exact same. Yes, because they're exact replicas, but they're just the cauliflower pops out. Like, if you put a bald cap on, it's the same size as your normal but head. But if you want them to look good, they got to cover the ears. Well, they're expensive. Yeah. You get, it's like a grill. It's like a grill. Like <laughs> an ear grill. Ear grills. You're telling me that's not a good idea? That is a good idea. Yo, would, Unless, you, ever, would you ever fight someone that had cauliflower ears? No, but but if you think that you are not gonna, you're gonna have these cauliflower ears, and you're not gonna get these shit kicked out of you at some point from someone who goes, "Fuck yeah, I've been waiting to tune up," because not all fighters have cauliflower ears. So you go, yeah, you want some of this? Like, you got to be like, you want some of this? I got cauliflower ears. And they're like, but maybe, I would love some Well, of maybe you set up in a way where you're just like, hey, pal, like, just so you know, like, that's my check. You got to cool it on this. You go, ah, they're fake. They're fake. They're fake. They're fake. <laughs> you it's can a, have, take the girl. Take the girl. Take the ears. It's a stupid idea. I can't believe I bought these. <laughs> she likes doggy. <laughs> yeah. All right. So yeah. I, I mean, I understand what you're saying. Great idea. It's the acting crazy kind of thing. But sometimes you get your bluff called. And then you're in for a real world of hurt. I guess you could just tap out, though. What? If someone is like, you put the ears on, like, all right, let go. You go. Well, he's not going to respect the, the He tap. might respect the tap out. Oh, you, know, you don't think so? Then you're fucked. I think you'd be surprised if they actually looked good enough how much guys would not mess with you. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, you get the wrong, like, David Goggins type. But then also the- your girl's like, you're wearing the ears again? You go, like, for <laughs> our safety, honey. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're always right yeah she's like yeah it's funny she's like we're going to like her friend's like baby shower and you're putting the ears on you go what do you think's happening at this party you go you never be too safe man <laughs> johnny do you know where my prosthetic glue is the ears won't stay on she goes we're gonna be late you go i gotta get the ears <laughs> they all saw me with the ears last time i'm gonna show up without the ears putting the prosthetic ears on to go to like yeah your, your your sister's wedding she's like don't wear the ears you go you never know what's gonna happen there man you always be prepared and you well, now go, what you're about, not prepared <laughs> what about the, th- these could be good for other things like n- more normal like what if you're going for a job interview well why job interview what are you, you a job interview you want a inti- bouncer maybe no you want to intimidate the guy like you still have your same resume but then you go cauliflower ears yeah i think there would have to be a physical combat job interview well, i think you'll do you say you're like right, a bank you're, you're, going you're to replying oh you go this guy's not gonna get pushed it's, around by yeah, the this customer. guy's a hard-ass dude this guy's probably i'm hiring fucking mcdonald's Jocko. mcdonald's late night shift you're gonna pop the cauliflower you're a lock shoe in those you might actually want but you got like Jocko. You, they think you're, they're getting Jocko or David Goggins type guy. You know what I saw with David Goggins? So I, I actually do kind of have an affinity to these guys. And I've been talking a lot about the Jocko thing on stage. It's like I love that the thing is you need to get up at 5 a.m., and then if you look into it any further, all it is is they went to sleep really early, right? Yeah, they go to sleep at nine. <laughs> right. So you go, and we've mentioned this here, but you go, so your whole life hack is farm hours, right? Yeah. You go, yeah, you know how like they did on the farm? Rhythm. Do that again, right? Yeah. 
And then on top of that, you go, first of all, like, I'm not going to sleep at nine. And it's like, it's the equivalent of being like, I have this hack of how you can get out of work four hours early every day. And you go, you go in at 4 a.m. You yeah. go, okay, don't want to do that. It's so like you're there. Next life essentially, hack. all they're doing is saying like, hey, you know that thing that people have done for literally almost all of humanity? Farm hours. All of time, other than the last hundred years. Like, there hasn't been electricity at night for, I don't know, what, a couple hundred years? <laughs> right. Like, there, there hasn't been night. That's, a, that's yeah. a good point. So it's like, that's just what people have done and you're naturally, your body does. They just do it. But as far as, yeah, you can just change your own chemistry and it's like, oh yeah, you have so much more hours today and it's like, but less yesterday. Am I I mean, something I do here? agree <laughs> to the element where sometimes like some, all, some people will be like, yeah, I wake up at 4.30 in the morning, but then like I get most of my best work done at that time because there's nobody to bug me. Like I, I kind of get Yeah, but that's the a, same at night. Guess what? No yeah, one's bugging true. you at that's 12 a.m. That's true. Yeah. It's literally the exact same. And I've heard Ryan Holiday talk about this because I listen to him sometimes. But, you know, again, if you have like this super crazy, like specific schedule, it's one thing. But anyone that has any sort of different schedule that sometimes you're at night, it's, you do it once, you take a weird plane and now your whole thing's screwed up. Right. Yeah. So you need to be a little more flexible. But he always says he goes, he's like, he's always talking about the stoic stuff. And he goes. I never regretted waking up early. And I go, that's not true. Like the a, a million times I've woke up too early because something happened or I had to do a phone call. And then like I was messed up and I'm trying to write and I, I sit down for three hours and I was like, my head was too groggy. And I'm like, I didn't get enough sleep. And I have to do other things where I'll go, you know what? Let me try to do administration type stuff because I can't focus because I'm way too tired. And it's like, so if I did that the next day and the next day it's like, so I just never be able to be make like good comedy or whatever because I'm just always yeah. tired. Well, again, that doesn't work for comedians. You but, or the million jobs are like that. Night, yeah. You go, yes. Or uh, what about a physical thing? Like when I, this is like a legitimate fact that when you're doing physical labor or like uh, running, for example, like how fast I run and how tired I get is almost directly corresponding to how much sleep I got. Yeah. Like, well, sure. okay. So what if you're doing that? It's like, okay, so you're just always tired. Your body doesn't have enough time to regenerate? No. I mean, the, yeah, you, we've said it, but the people who are trying to cheat sleep, generally there is some sort of cost to pay. And one of the big costs is they get dementia at the end of it. Yeah. That's the big one. Some of these guys have the nerve to be like, you know, one of the big life hack, life hack one, get up really early. Life hack two, get the right amount of sleep. <laughs> and you're just like, okay, buddy. Yeah. I, <laughs> I mean, if you can do it, if you have the life that like, you want to go to, you're cool with going to bed at 9 p.m. Yeah, but even then, if I went to bed, you, most of the night, I don't I'd think I'd there do forever. That. Well, that's the thing. You just physically, your, your clock's all off. You couldn't go to bed at 9 p.m. if you wanted to. I understand you if you design your entire life around it, but David Goggins is, uh, he he's like the best one almost. Probably he's a lunatic. Jockey, I saw a video right? of him. He tied his hands. That's the one I was going to bring oh, up. Yeah, yeah. So, it's probably the best video I've ever seen. So so, <laughs> so, hey, I love that you saw that. Yeah. So there's this video of David Goggins, and he ties his hands up. Behind his back. He ties his hands behind his back and his feet up, and then he dives into like a lake, and he's, you know, he's able to swim with his hands tied up. And the whole thing was like, you know, I've been uh, afraid to swim forever. And now he's sort of like flopping around like a fish, right? Yeah. I was afraid of water. Now I got my hands tied, which the funny part to me was like him coming up with those ideas. Like he has his, because you know, he runs his company pretty, you know, yeah. the same way that he talks about. It. So he's got these boards on and it was like, hey, Tuesday, we're going to do the, the TikTok where we do the <laughs> hands tied. And, like that is true. I think I someone think had to film that. Oh, no, no, for sure. I think that's one of the Navy SEAL training things. That's what they do to you. Right. And he's like, I always hated swimming. And then now I just a time I'm a hands. fish now. <laughs> I'm a fish, motherfucker. Yeah. I'm a fish, fuck face. It, that was the, f like that, that video crazy. legitimately made me chuckle where I was just like, <laughs> like it's like a Houdini trick kind no, of thing. No, the worst is the guys who are like the fake David Goggins who then like, they're like, I'm going to do this too. And guys that like, jump in after him. Oh, help. <laughs> oh, help. Overestimate him. But it's also loose. if you can swim, I don't like, I'm sure everyone's done a version where you like, uh, you know, when you're swimming and you put your hands beside you and you kick your feet and you like tread water that way, right? Yeah. And your feet could be together. Like you do it like hands a fish, Hands behind right? the back though. Well, the hands don't matter because they're not doing anything in this scenario, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You're just, yeah, you're just kind of using I mean, your feet as fins, I guess. I mean, I, I just think I could do that no problem, right? But yeah, I guess if you're saying I wouldn't training. love, I wouldn't love, like I could do it, but I would like the whole idea, you go like, oh, this could go b sideways really fast. 
where you're just well, like, not really, because all the the worst thing that happens is the guy just jumps in after you. Yeah, yeah you're not true. by yourself. But I just, you know, I, or is that like his wife or something, where he's like, "Babe, come, I need you," and she's like, "Just give me a second. He's like, I'm on. filming. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, yeah you no, know, he needs her to come film with him. Like, <laughs> yeah. You hold the camera. Like, are you all right? Tie my hands. And she's just like, "Oh God," but. The end of it, he posted it as he, he re edit, like, you know, when you go back and edit your caption. Yeah. He edited it into the caption. Uh, also, disclaimer don't do this unless you're a professional. <laughs> and he's like, a professional what? Yeah. <laughs> Marathon runner? Yeah. He's like, he's a professional ultra endurance runner. But that's I, I mean. guess he's a professional military guy. So he's a professional. Tim Kennedy, hand, I'm sure, has done that. A, a professional hands tied your back swimmer. This. A lot of their things are things that me and my friends would do in like a pool when we were seven. Yeah. As like a, you know what I mean? And then your parents come out and they're like, are you guys out of your fucking minds? Like, yeah, mom, you're I'm like, David Goggins. Yeah, you're like, you're zip tied, <laughs> all zip tied in the pool. That is like peak the type of stuff that I'd be into when yeah. I was like 11. Daredevil, Daredevil stuff. Yeah, Daredevil stuff. But <laughs> anyways. Um, Stay hard, motherfucker. <laughs> gonna take a quick second here to tell the fellas about Butcher Box. Maybe you're throwing a barbecue. Maybe you're just having friends over. Maybe you just like high quality meats. That's me. That's that's describing you. I love high quality meats. This is a this is a butcher box is designed specifically for someone like you. Just I a love. guy. You like cooking? Yeah. You like cooking for other people? When you think of high quality meats, what do you think about? Maybe quality ingredients, perhaps? Mm-hmm. Price? Do you think about dining out or cooking at home? Well, you should be thinking about Butcher Box takes the guesswork of finding high quality meats. You're not here out at the grocery store juggling, you know, juggling meat baskets to see which one's good. No, and you're always touching them, but what are you even touching? What are you even touching? You're pretending. You want 100% grass fed beef, free range organic chicken, pork raised, crate free, wild caught seafood. Get just what you want delivered right to your doorstep free shipping in the continental u.s and no surprise fees so you can enjoy a high quality cuts that are hard to come by at the grocery store and it's an amazing value so you get recipe information guides tips and hacks so that you can cook up some mouth-watering meals what's the last thing you made uh, I made steak. The last thing I made was a roast. Uh, you did. It was real good. Uh, of course oh, you did. Body. And that could be you guys listening at home. So take chicken breasts off your grocery list. Butcher Box is offering our listeners an incredible deal that they've never been offered before. Free chicken for a year. You get two pounds of free range organic chicken breasts for free in every order when you sign up at butcherbox.com slash boyscast and use the code boyscast. Claim this deal at butcherbox.com slash boyscast and use the the code boys cast and also we got to tell you about athletic greens this is something that probably the most thing that i've actually done every single day since i started doing it yeah because i've tied it to like before i run or have a coffee or anything like that Mm -hmm. and it's the easiest one because it's a drink that can you can have it before before you run as opposed to like eating something or having a coffee too right yeah like a pre-workout which i do first thing in the morning just put something in your stomach Put something in your stomach. Maybe you're like me. You didn't have time. You wanted better gut health, more energy, optimized immune system. You hated taking pills and vitamins, wanted a supplement that actually tastes great, and you wanted to see what the hype was about. And that's how you come up with Athletic Greens. What's this stuff? With one delicious scoop of Athletic Greens, you're absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to start your day right. Special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, aging even. So basically all the things here. It's a great taste. You can bring it with you when you travel to stay healthy. It comes in tiny little packets or a box that you take the scoops out of. Recommended by professional athletes. Supports better sleep and recovery. And it's one micro habit with big benefits. It's one thing you can do to take every single day to just take great care of yourself. So right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition, especially heading into the cold and flu season. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you got to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash boyscast. Again, athleticgreens.com slash boyscast to take ownership of your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutrition insurance let's get back into it okay so i don't uh there okay i gotta read this one actually 
Uh, I don't think you have it, but this just came out. It was a Reddit. Advice. And this is the cuckold community, right? Okay. Shout out to the cucks. Yeah, shout out to the cucks. You know what it is. We, we respect you. We see your humanity. We see you and we respect you. We see. Advice. Should my girlfriend and I use my parents' bull? What? <laughs> What is going on? Danny's about to go full fucking uh, rush the bar here. What do you mean, use your bull? So her, well, new to Reddit. Apologize if this isn't the right place for this kind of post. Sounds to me like cuckold is the right place for the kind that of post. Ex- exactly the right place for this. I'm excited to have found this community, though I'm aware some people are going to be freaked out by what I'm about to say. That is also funny, being a cuck that's like hearing some other people's cuck things. It's like, what are you, some kind of weirdo? <laughs> Freak! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, who's this freak? Uh, you're like the one guy's like, how, how do you have sex? How do I, you know, I'm trying to find two different guys to have sex with my wife. The guy's like, me and my dad are sharing a guy, and he's like, look at this fucking weirdo. <laughs> if that's the case, please simply ignore it. Long story short, my girlfriend, 19F, and I, 20 male, are looking for a long term stable bull. And they've had some problems finding the bull. It's, you know, it's, it's hard, hard to, to f- find the bull. It's ha- Listen, it's hard to find a good bull in these scenarios, well, especially now with the racial tension, because you got to. Of course. You know? I mean, you can't specifically ask for the black ones. That's it's, very You fun, have to cast a pas. bull the same way that people cast, like, in real yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> when I went in, I remember going into. You went to the one where you had to go in for I a terrorist. Like, I, no, I was a guy right. named. Whoa. No. What did was, you go in for? It was just a guy named Dinesh. Oh. And, then, and then I showed up and I go, Do I need to be here? We know who's getting this. There was that and then the, the, fact ba- that and, you the ba- had, and then the basketball. You auditioned for a guy named Dinesh is so Dude, funny. Dude, I auditioned for the voice of a basketball for the 2016 NBA All-Star game. A sniveling I was, Jew. I was the voice and I'm like, oh, excuse me. Um someone dribble me, please. And then obviously, like the guy who fucking put got it, some- sounded like I don't know Wesley Snipes or something. <laughs> Did you put some twang on it? No, I went on crazy. <laughs> I show up, I'm like, "Yo, what up? I'm a basketball motherfucker," and they're like, "What are you doing? We wanted a white basketball." <laughs> that's so fucking funny, though. Yeah, you doing that? Like, I just assumed you. That's actually a pretty funny sketch. <laughs> the the <one>. white. <laughs> Yeah, you know what it is. I'm a basketball. Yeah, you know I live in lower income. I even got like, oh, sir, <laughs> oh, sir, sir. Oh, oh you're sir, a sir. Uh, upper middle class white basketball. I go, oh, oh, my, oh, oh, my bad. This is my mistake. Should, okay, I, let me, should I try it again? They go, no. <laughs> Can I get the fuck out of here? Let me see that script that you have. You go. I'm not dribbling too well because I got diabetes. <laughs> you go, sir. I got the sugars, <laughs> sir. Y'all, y'all be putting me in that hoop before my baby mama comes back. They yeah. go, all right, Daniel, I think that's... Uh, and that's honestly, though, like, the thing came out, and you go, like, yeah, that's... That that's, is what it was. That's what it was. Like, that it is came what it out, was. Because I always, whenever I... Uh, near the end, when I was, like, near the end of me auditioning for commercials, and I, they, they were really starting to dick you around like this, I would always go find hey, the They thing. were getting... A ra- they're probably crazy now. Probably really crazy, but I'd go find... No, now the they thing. probably say ethnic. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, but I would go find the thing just to see, like... If I ever even had a shot, and now you're the end of it, you're like, okay, this is just I'm a prop. Yeah, yeah, that no, it'd be fu- super funny if you looked up the guy and looked up the actor, and it was like a huge black guy, like in his even in his acting photos, he's got like a chain on all this stuff, <laughs> and then he's like, well, I'm just a basketball. Yeah, he's, he yeah, he's doing the Jewish He's doing me. He goes, I am a basketball, <laughs> and I love to be dribbled. I go, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's the twist. That the I'd actually be more fine with. That would be fine. Because you're like, okay, that's why I was there. No, I'd be like, okay, well, they just they they had their idea of what they wanted the basketball to sound like, and his was just better version of mine. Yeah, exactly. What does matter what he looked like? Y'all better be dribbling me now. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's like basically what it was, though. It was like ridiculous. Well, but the Dinesh one was crazy because I'm like, yeah, I'm not getting this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was Dinesh's lines? I don't you know. don't remember? I can find it. I don't easily. know. Yeah, you were doing a joke about it for a while. Yeah. I just thought you might have some more info I don't in that situation. I don't remember what it was for. It was for like, you know, BMO or something. Well, I, I had the same experience McDonald's. going out for a rapper where yeah. I went out for a rapper and then you looked at the commercial and the guy who was the rapper was, you know, like big black guy that dressed like a rapper. Yeah. <laughs> and you're just like, okay, so... Why were you auditioning white people? Just like, oh yeah, maybe we'll just see some white people. Maybe for some reason, 
like we want well for some reason we'll have like a white guy be this rapper that we clearly I don't think want they to be just don't guy. want the optics of it just it's all it is yeah yeah well they don't want the optics of the waiting room being all black rappers and then they're all just it probably like, is. so what this is what you think rappers are yeah like they're just oh we're just all the same to you huh and then the, for them i guess they're doing that i don't know okay let's uh have the the fat white feminist here it's like okay we just you know we're open to anything it could we actually could have been that just after you know we went through all the people we did happen to end up on the black guy who looks like a rapper yeah. <laughs> dude i saw a, a j crew i walked by a j crew ad the other day somewhere in new york and it was just like whatever a big big maybe in the subway or something it's just like five people and one of the dudes like legit just like looks like me and like it's like four like kind Stop of modely and then it's dude he's just like got a gut <laughs> And he's just like wearing J. Crew, and I'm like, he didn't the have weird guy. He did, and honestly, I was like, he just was like a schlubby dude, and is like, you know, late thirties, forties, like not in shape at all. <laughs> That's a win for you, though. Whatever. Eh? But the thing is, I'm like, this is like supposed to be aspirational, I guess. But then the aspiration is that like guys like me could be models. Yeah, right. Like that's the aspiration, which uh-huh. is like doesn't even make any sense. It's not aspirational to own the clothes. It was before you could be before models. Now before it's... you could be like, oh, I could be like part of this friend group, and then I'm like, yeah, that's I don't know, that's not an aspirational friend group anymore. It's a regular friend group. It's also extra funny when they're like, you know, doing the photo shoots because it's very like, you know, like yeah, put some stink on it, be sexy, you know, pout those lips. Like, yeah. <laughs> you got some fucking. You got also, like, there's always one old school model there who's like, you know, only smokes and does coke all the time and doesn't eat. That's such a model. There's still type. one of them, and then the model's like, this is what a fucking model is now. <laughs> that guy hates it. No, it's like a chick or, or a guy or whatever. Yeah, but it'll be like, so this is what I like. I've been starving myself, and like this dude. It's just here now, part of the, like, he makes as much money as me, and <laughs> you're just like, when are we starting? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, like, it's like, they're just like, scratching uh, your belly. Like, like, model is just like <laughs> the most nebulous, like, idea now. <laughs> be anything. Uh, there you go, uh, hey, where'd the craft services go? You go, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. You go, you don't need anyways, though, I figured, so. <laughs> you're on the set. They're just like, what's that smell? And you go, oh, sorry, I got a hoagie in my pocket. <laughs> Danny has a go, The camera's picking up the hoagie. Can we get him new pants? Something, <laughs> something darker so I can keep the hoagie in my pants if possible. <laughs> Sir, uh, yeah, yeah, you always they keep having to have extra shirts because you keep staining them. It's like, what is that, sir? You go, sorry, I was, I was uh, storing a McDouble in my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing too, I I don't know if they just don't care or they don't read them or or what, but like I got it on Twitter today. Actually, I got a Nike ad. And it was this, just it's like a woman. It's for Nike, and she's like probably my size. And then the new slogan, and then, but you do look it or at, don't do but it. But it's a sponsor, yeah, fine. kind of. And you look, it's a sponsored ad. And then always when I see these now, I go, let's see what's going on in the comments. Okay, let's yeah, see what you people think about it. I love the comments. It's like I mean, if you showed me the ad, I'm gonna get something out of it. And the comments are all just like, what the hell is this? <laughs> like everybody's like, this is Nike, and this is running, and everybody's like, like I'm not saying that she's could not be a runner but this is not like the aspirational runner yeah here she's just like he looks like someone just tried running for the first time today maybe that's what they're going for i don't know but. you know what they should have is like uh so they don't have to change all their slogans and everything it's like a guy like you and he's looking he, he just he ordered the mcdonald's uh, he, so he's at the thing he walks up and he goes yeah i'll take the uh you know the big mac combo and the guy goes super size and then just do it Come. yeah, <laughs> yeah the <laughs> nike mcdonald's crossover <laughs> yeah <laughs> So it's like, just do it comes from like, get the fucking super size. Yeah, just do <laughs> it. Just get the super size, dude. Nike Moo Moos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just do it. So anyways, that's that. And yeah. my my thing was that, yeah, I went for a rapper. But long story short, in the cuck community. That was a long ass story. That was long <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, story. yeah. Well, we'll uh, um, the more, uh, so we've had a shorter term arrangement but we'd like to establish a more regular relationship with one rather than bounce from underwhelming guy to guy and that's how we started talking oh so about he's it. just like he's such a good bull that he hangs out with them in their regular life they're just like this bull is the best in the game <laughs> like his parents bring his bull around and he was kind of like 
his, you know, he's, he's saying to his dad, like, is he free? And his dad goes, come on, get your own bull. Like, yeah, this guy yeah, is, come on. we have him working pretty hard. He's not going to, you're going to tire him out and he's not going to, you know, you put out the full, put the full performance Yeah, because the young, the young ones, it's like, he's going to have to put in a real work and then he's got to satisfy the old one. And then your dad's going to be looking at this bull while he's having sex with his wife and he's just like, kind of giving an 80% today, huh? You, know, <laughs> you don't think there's some scenario where the, the son goes, dad, can we use your bull? And he goes, chip off the old block huh well i think that's what happens because he goes they're all these like you know super city folk kinds and they go now my parents are also in a cuckold relationship the four of us talk about the lifestyle openly which almost seems crazy but this is the kind of stuff that's in the cuckold i mean who knows maybe it's a fake post but still a funny scenario yeah it could be but these if the people do post in these you know they have there's different things first of all a lot of them um they have their Reddit, like their actual Reddit things have a karma and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. So you, and then they get kicked out by the mods. Like mods, oh, dude, with mods the, take like trolling their communities very course, seriously. With the amount of stuff we've covered, <laughs> nothing will shock me as being real at this yeah. point. Like there's so many people out there that like this, all this stuff ends up existing just based on the volume of people that exist. Uh-huh. Every permutation of every crazy. And thing. that's why I like the cuckold. Like the, I, I respect that the cuckold Reddits are run, the mods on reddit are running a clean operation they're not letting anyone come <laughs> i mean think about the craziest crime you've ever heard of that's like so out there and you go yeah it's like you know it's real and like yeah someone did it there's so many people they're like they, this things all get happen that's yeah, the monkeys on a typewriter huh yeah so my parents and they talk openly they're aware of my girlfriend and i search and they've all <laughs> how's this like the house search <laughs> How's the search going? <laughs> well, we met with Tyrone, but I don't know. Like He's busy z- on Tuesdays. He works on Tuesdays, and that's when we kind of generally like to get down. You guys are using him. It's a tough market out there. Some so. might say it's a, a, a what's the it's a, it's a bear market. It's, a bear market. <laughs> it's hard to find a good bull out there. It's, it's a, a market. It's a bit of a bear market. And what's that mean? It's like, you know, all we can find is big gay guys that want to do it. No bulls available. That's exactly what it is. You can't find like a big tough guy that looks like David Goggins. <laughs> it's a David Goggins Seems episode. Like- all you can find is like a, a like a, a big like burly guy that's clearly gay that wants to do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then you go, it's a bit it's a bear market, it's a bear not a bull market. <laughs> can't even find one good straight. Yeah, we came, he was having sex with the wife, but he really had his sights set on me. Yeah, well, it is a bear market where, out there. So, Where does one go to be a bull? Is this a sex club thing? I, is think, this an IRL I, think, for, game? I think if you want to be a bull and you actually are like a what they want, like big, tough, like jacked, all that stuff, nice piece, yeah. I think that's probably hard. But it's probably harder to just be like some slob that's on the internet. Like, if anyone's interested, I'm oh, yeah. not sure. Oh, I mean, there's probably no shortage of those. But like, is that you go on one of those weird websites JJ uses? Or like, yeah, a million weird websites, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sure. But that's what you put it out there and you go, hey, just uh, putting it out there. If anyone wants me to come smash their wife, uh, willing to give her a stick and... I'll be bull life. Bull life. From what they've told us about him, he sounds exactly like what we're looking for. My girlfriend and I are trying... <laughs> my girlfriend and I are trying to see if we should take them up on that offer. My concern isn't so much about the family link obviously my parents and i are quite open about our sex lives more than most families and that's natural for us i'm worried about any weirdness uh that the bull might feel so that's yeah i'm really worried about the bull the <laughs> bull is just there to do a job i don't think you worry about hey how does the bull feel about it he's just clocks in to work he's got his hard hat on his lunch pail yeah, all right just another day another dick and i was trying to fuck some weirdos yeah do you think the, i guess a lot of them it's be easier if you paid the bull right if you got cash to lay down on the bull well i guess if you're attractive enough that is the payment but I'm sure once if you're too gross, then that's you do probably have to pay. But then isn't he just a gigolo at that point? I think a lot of them are sort of gross. I think even people... Of, <clears throat> I'll tell you who's definitely always gross. The couples. Always. <clears throat> like this idea that it's like a life hack that I'll be a bull and then I'll just be getting all this like snatch thrown at me. <clears throat> no. No, no, no. That ain't good. No. I mean, I don't know if you've had it, but I've had it multiple times. Some dude being like, yo, you want to take her for a spin? And I'm like, do you have to be there? And then it's like... Yeah, of course, like, duh. Duh. And yeah, you're just like, no. Yeah. But we've also had friends that have done it. Yeah, I know people. Have people, done our it. friends that have done. There was the, the sex one in club. Toronto forever. There was this. She had co- a joke about it. But there was this couple <clears throat> in Toronto uh, forever who used to hang out at. I think it was Vape on the Lake, 
Remember? And there was this weird and this like odd couple and the girl looked like a boy and she had like she looked like a 14 year old boy. I do remember, remember that. that. And she had like a shaved I know head exactly what you're talking about. or whatever. And there was like the whole thing where every comic was like, yeah, took her for a spin while they were, they were about that life. Yeah, they were. And the boy, but they were not like that was not like the what you think about no, in the, the porn the, movies. The dude looked like uh Fucking Rick never, from Rick and Morty. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He did right, and the chick looked like Hillary Swank from Boys Don't Cry. And then he would watch from like I think he had a two sided window or something. No like way, that. something like that. They had the whole. They thing had some. They up. had a rig. They had a. They had the. Oh, no. They had the basement apartment rigged up. <laughs> so funny. For sure. No, he's got. We know multiple people. No, JJ might have been one of. He's them, under the honest. bed, but he's got one of those military grade things that like poke up like a submarine. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, the, the, the uh, periscope. He's got a there. submarine periscope from under the bed. <laughs> Double like, sided he's mirror. Got- <laughs> <laughs> oh my god he's got like one of those like auto mechanic like dolly things that he's laying on his back he's laying he's on his back on the out. dolly thing he goes hey can you just give me uh 10 percent more and he just <laughs> goes right back under <laughs> hey uh did you work today or something feels like you're a little <laughs> tired out <laughs> does he get like a gator like gatorade bottle gives you like a splash like a goalie you know? <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah you good, little, you good? little squirt of little, gatorade a little pit change that was what I think. Al, I think JJ might have smashed that joke. The, our, like uh, when Al Val did it, he said that he goes, he did the thing, and then uh, like the guy tried to put his hands on his shoulders while he was doing oh, it. Oh right! <laughs> <laughs> like the bum was like Buster for the development. No, like, you're doing good. It really was. <laughs> the guy comes up and he's like, "Yeah, good stuff." And he's like, "Do you mind if going?" Yeah, you're supposed to be on the other side of that double glass. Well, apparently, when he does do that, it's like. Yeah, really good stuff. You know, you're doing good there. He goes, come on, you can't keep touching me. And the guy's like, oh, oh you know, uh, no big, no big deal. Obviously, oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't, didn't mean to mess with your mojo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Apparently, that's kind of the game. That's such a. Uh... Going to take a quick second here because now we have a word from our sponsor, Better Help. Listen, we've been telling you about better help. And sometimes it can be tough to train your brain to stay in problem-solving mode when you're faced with a challenge in life. But when you learn to find your own solutions, there's no better feeling. And a therapist can help you become a better problem solver, making it easy to accomplish your goals, no matter how big or small. Now, BetterHelp is online therapy. You can do it at your own schedule. You know, as you know, there are times in your life where your normal cycle just just ain't cutting it. And having someone to talk to has been super helpful for a lot of people I know and that has helped, you know, make big changes in their life. Whether you have too much stress, you know, whether it's job problems, general, you know, life, anxiety, depression, stuff like that, BetterHelp can help. So if you're thinking about giving therapy a try, BetterHelp's a great option. It's convenient, accessible, affordable, and entirely online. Get matched with a therapist after filling out a brief survey and switch therapist anytime if you feel like it when you want to be a better problem solver therapy can get you there so visit betterhelp.com slash boys cast today you get 10 percent off your first month that's betterhelp.com slash boys cast and give it a try the opposite of that and we we actually missed this one we i think we might have mentioned it like in in passing but it was coming up a lot and someone sent it to me and then i saw a video about it a new term alert that we never saw and that's autosexual i hadn't seen this at all until you said this to me i couldn't believe we missed it i don't know how we missed it. look either. there's tons of articles and autosexual is when you're attracted to auto from the simpsons oh no <laughs> So autosexual is just a great one because basically you're only attracted to yourself sexually, right? Yeah. This doesn't even really make sense. To well, me. it doesn't make sense because a whole part of it is that like, you know, some of the things are like, do you like spanking it a lot? And you're just like, yeah, there's so many people. There's like, I guess your default autosexual. Well, it's a yes, but you're like, yeah, do you like spanking? Do you ever think about yourself? That's what they said. The term autosexual might not be as commonplace as some of the other words we use to describe sexualities, but we're trying to get it into existence, man. I'd like to see this term get tossed around a little more. Yeah, I'm auto. Yeah, I'm That's auto. That's maybe only one of the cool ones to say. I'm auto. Like yeah. if I if you go You're pick, manual. If you go pick a thing that you have to say, like demi, lame, poly, lame. Polly is lame. Auto, kind of cool. Polly is very lame. Like, cause it even even no matter what arrangement you have, even if you're like the guy 
can just bang and the girl doesn't saying you're poly immediately puts images of like some freak at burning yeah man exactly like a- exactly right what, what do you think about this you go to uh you go do streeters at a nascar thing and ask people about autosexual ask them if they're autosexual uh, yeah and, and they're going fuck yeah, 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 yeah. fucking yeah i get a little hard when i see that auto. Fucking dale earnhardt tattoo right here you better believe i'm a fucking autosexual you go it's actually not what you think it is <laughs> You will get some people like, yeah, I don't know. I've masturbated into a mirror. Uh, autosexual, I'm auto tool sexual. <laughs> He's got two wrenches in each hand. You got you came to the wrong plate, right place if you're looking for an auto, buddy. <laughs> but that doesn't mean it's not worth understanding. Uh, and then it got launched into the wider cultural language uh, recently. In short, an autosexual is a person who is sexually attracted to themselves either much more than they're attracted to other people or to the exclusion of other people. Autosexuality, therefore, is a term that encompasses a spectrum of desire. And immediately what comes to mind is the guy uh, who, in the movie, uh, where he has sex, where he flexes and looks in the mirror. You know what I mean? What was that? Boogie Nights? No, no, no. Where he kills the girls and stuff like that. Famous, uh, he's like the oh, reference American for everything. Psycho? American Psycho. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what you're thinking, right? Mm. But they do clear that up in the other article. They go, no. No, I know. The We're one not thing that. They say is, and just so you know, this is way different than being a narcissist. That's what I like, said. No, you're a narcissist. Mm-hmm. This is, uh, it's, I mean, Khloe Kardashian coined this term. Or one yeah. of the Kardashians. They're like, this is just narcissism. I've been I've been talking also how the Kardashians are pretty good at changing culture. Actually, you know what? I just rented a new place from Kim Kardashian. Oh, what'd you rent? Pretty sick. It's a house. Uh, I'm already getting foreclosed on, but oh. it's pretty sick though because my foreclosure <laughs> notification comes on Kim K letterhead. That must be nice. Collector's dude. That's item. A collector's item. Yeah, yeah, she's starting all sorts of weird businesses. Yeah. That's what these idiots out there like Mark Wahlberg and Kevin Hart are like. I'll start a chicken wing franchise, and these people are like, she's I'm like, yeah, own every house. In she's the like, world. I'm partnering up with BlackRock to buy a suburb. Not she's straight up doing that. Remember, I like uh, everybody was talking shit about BlackRock for buying all the rental homes, and now straight up Kim Kardashian is joining the party. That's crazy, right? That'll be a dark when people start getting evicted by Kim Kardashian. Kim you're Kardashian, like, you're like, but I love Kim Kardashian. She goes, yeah, well, should have paid your rent, dude. My ex used to talk about Kim Kardashian the way that. Uh, you know how like a a cliche I guess thing that girls would make fun of guys about like talking about Jordan Peterson yeah about being like you don't get it he's like sick you know yeah. what I mean or be like you're wrong about him she would be like that to me about Kim Kardashian be like you don't even no one gets it like she's honestly so brilliant she's smarter than everyone like people don't get like what she's accomplished I actually have had this exact and conversation with I, I didn't even argue that much because I'm like my girlfriend. I don't have like a hate on her yeah I don't I hate her like, either I was kind of like okay so it was worse it was at least the Jordan Peterson thing a lot of times it's because girls are like he's the worst ever or, or like people like that where girls yeah. are, you don't yeah, get he's it a Nazi. he's the Nazi's worse and you're like you're not even that's not what he's you know what I mean you yeah. get, I've, I've been probably myself in that argument right of course because that's not what he says right mm-hmm. Yeah, the Kim Kardashian. Little grumpier now, but yeah, yeah, yeah. at the time, I've had that arguments about Kim K to this girl, and I'm not even really arguing that she goes, she's so great, and you, you people don't even realize. I go, oh, she's fine, like whatever. Yeah, she's fine. I mean, she's obviously like s- successful. She's not. Uh, I wouldn't say she's like self-made, but she, you know, she did a lot. Like her dad was like a lawyer. He wasn't fucking the president of NBC or something. Well, I don't know if you saw, but it keeps going because allegedly. Her and the mom signed a contract to re-release to release the sex tape. So they actually had like a legitimate contract in Ray J or whatever. Yeah, this story just keeps popping up. I saw right? something about Ray J actually earlier today. So that's what happened. Know. Is Ray J's like I got proof that this sex tape that she's like it got released or whatever they were in on the heist. Oh, that I believe. Yeah, yeah, I, I believe that. Well, there's calcu- proof now. Yeah, I believe that that was calculated. Same with Paris Hilton too. Of course. I think everybody saw the top Pam and Tommy thing, and then they go like, "Yeah, it's like you be a fucking celebrity." By the way, Jordan Peterson, little flex of him posting a photo with Cristiano Ronaldo. I saw that. Yeah, sick duo. Pretty big move. Yeah, that's a huge move. Yeah. Cool, cool move for both parties. Then Cristiano Ronaldo, when he finishes soccer, he's gonna go get a show at Daily Wire. Mm. Christ, Christ with <clears throat> Cristiano. Ronaldo's and Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they'll have a hundred million people watching it, like instantly. Of course, he he could start up a network mm-hmm. bigger than any network just tomorrow. Of course. Yeah. Well, anyways, I was just saying she's really good at 
uh, the Kardashians did a good job of changing culture because like four years ago or six years ago, you legitimately, most people would probably look at the Kardashians and be like, come on. Now people do look at them and you're like, that's the, that's how girls look. That's the look right there. Yeah. And that was all oh, the BBL. And every, if there's any, if there's any lesson to be learned, it's get black guys on board with your cause and that helps to like change culture and make it cooler. Yeah. And as been because they were all just like this is, what we look, they, this is what we look now and then like everyone else was like I'm not here to argue with basketball players and rappers about what's hot the crazy <laughs> thing is with the BBL thing too is like I guess they obviously did the did it but they have like the top surgeon in the world so the proportions are like perfect but then everybody goes That's the at, butt surgery the right? butts the Brazilian butt lift but then everybody goes and they get like all the women who are kind of following them they go get BBLs but from not the best surgeon in the world and it looks like someone just like gave a girl like a oversized pair of pants and then just stuffed like chicken breasts in it, <laughs> it kind like of just does. like raw chicken breasts and you're like this is disgusting it's not great I, obviously some guys are into it i don't know but most of the bbls i've seen no I go, it like, looks like is- a, someone wearing like f- football like sh- <laughs> but it looks like thigh pads it looks like they had a procedure gone wrong uh-huh like it doesn't look like oh you like like you tried something and then they went wrong and now you're stuck with this. No, you are right that when they go wrong, they look like a bunch of mashed potatoes taped <laughs> looks, onto their legs. They all look so bad. I haven't seen a BBL where I go, that's good. That's a good one. They all just are like, you look mangled. I like the idea of, you know, they say BBC. Yeah. Like, what kind of porn are you in? M, uh, M white. Or what was it? M. Night Shyamalan? M- MWC. I'm, I'm like pretty into MWC porn. Was that medium white cock? <laughs> <laughs> Representation matters. Right? Yeah. But no, they have... Uh, <laughs> did you think that any of those girls that got the bad butt lifts were ever like walking around a store and everyone's like, ma'am, you can't like steal the stuff. And, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get they get actually, of, like, probably. I mean, there was the, the ma'am, prison guard. Are you stealing our literal bags of lard? <laughs> the wa- Check her for lard, boys. It's in there. Pretty and sure women are dying, a, too. They go they get the cheap ones. There was yeah. like a woman recently in New York who she died. She got a bag of uh, you know cake icing and taped to your inner thigh, ma'am. Literally looks like just a bag of cheese curds. Yeah. Just, yeah, like, yeah, just yeah, jamming yeah. your pants with cheese curds. It does look like I a, wanted, I want to meet the a guys woman who that like went this. to a Quebec gas station <laughs> and is trying to do a heist. Yeah. <laughs> trying to steal all the cheese She's curds. running out all funny, and she goes, we got it. And you go, how much money did you get? She goes... I didn't get any money, but I got enough courage to last us for a lifetime. And then the guy's like, and weirdly, I'm kind of turned on right now. I don't know <laughs> yeah. what's going on. I've yet to meet it's a guy. to turn who, you into an autosexual. I've yet to meet a guy who's into the BBL thing, too. Like, I don't know any guy in my life who's ever been like, man, you know, you see that? That's fucking, I like that. Not for me. Never. I've never seen one. I don't know. You know, they though, exist. My, your brains do change, though. Give me four years. No. Nah. I'll never be on bar with the BBL. Really? I didn't think I liked the big lips. Now I'm a big lip guy. I don't, I don't I'm like a big lip man. I hate the fake lips. Lip, you call me, Lipton. call me, what's that guy that did the, call me Lipton's iced tea. <laughs> <laughs> call me the, who's the guy? Lipton. <laughs> no, I was saying the guy that did the, it behind the actor's studio, isn't that? Lipton. James Lipton. So that's who I met. Yes. Behind the actor's studio is me. Telling my things about lips. Yeah. All righty then. <laughs> okay, we're out here. We are rolling. We're rolling. Uh, so these are some of the signs you might be an autosexual. A few people are out here listening. You prefer masturbation to sex. That's also they also a sign that you're just uh, in an unhappy relationship. Yeah, exactly. Or uh, it's it's a sign. So this might you, be. A, you know how many like just middle aged men are mm-hmm. like I'm an autosexual. <laughs> you call me an autosexual. <laughs> I think that I'm a uh, auto. She's getting fat. <laughs> I prefer masturbation to sex. Oh, you have this new sexual kink. It's like, yeah, yeah. Well, because my old sexual kink of my hot wife is no longer available. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that one sort of got rug pulled away from me. Yeah, you got rugged on kid number five. <laughs> kid number five. Uh, it was the old ru- we called yeah. him rug. Sort of got rid of my uh, sexual kink. That's what they call a hot wife. That's a hot wife. Yeah. Is the, the wife that takes the ball. They call it a hot wife. She's never that hot, though. No. <laughs> it's all relative. <laughs> yeah. You use fantasies about yourself in order to finish. So that is insane. That, oh, that one's nuts. Like, again, if someone told you that in confidence, you'd be like, I have to probably tell people about this, even though I said I wouldn't. Like, it's just... Like, that's what you... That's the... 
kind of how everybody hyperbolically describes Trump. Like that's what he would be like. Like, oh yeah, he must just only think of himself. He's during sex. He's still just like picturing himself, Picture, just himself. But, but doing what? Like, fu- like, are you picturing yourself fucking yourself? Like, are you the top and the bottom? And you go, yeah, give it to me. Yeah, I'm or dirty. are you picturing jacking it? Yeah, I don't know. Like, if, if, like I would love to meet an honest section and go, what is it? Are you just picturing yourself masturbating in front of a mirror, or are you literally taking it from yourself? And then at that point, yeah. you're like, why only two of you? <laughs> why not just like some sloppy orgy with 10 of you? But then it's like pretty gay. It's the least gay it can be, though. <laughs> it is the least gay it can be because it's all you. It's like Michael Ke- Keaton in the, what was that movie? Where he had multiplicity. multiplicity. Did yeah. they ever smooch? <laughs> I don't know. I never saw it. It was when he was on the outs, but it was when his career wasn't doing so good. You're right. That's such a exactly true though, because you go, you go, oh, I'm picturing two of me having sex, and you're just like, pop a third in there. It's like, why stop there? Yeah, like, it's why so- not a train of Danny's? <laughs> exactly. Like, you're getting head from three of you. What's going on here? Danny, 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 <laughs> Danny, 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 stock portfolio. That's at the front of the train. That's yeah. the that's the uh, the human centipede, the, the Danny centipede. No, the caboose is the stock portfolio, oh, probably. Right. Yeah. But it still is your dick attached to your. It's like a, the actual like the, the the deeds of your portfolio, you know, and they have yeah. the hard copies. But that with your dick on it. Who knows? So this makes no sense. No sense. So if you're talking about a girl, well, it seems like some sort of clinical narcissism or something. But you you picture yourself. Stop it. Nuts. Okay. Yeah, they fantasize about yourself when you're actually. The more we're talking it. about this, I well, go, this is again, a chick thing. This is not a guy. No, guys of course it's a chick thing. But they go, they fantasize about yourself when you're masturbating, and then you go. What do you fantasize yourself doing? Masturbating? <laughs> like, what are you Open doing? Open your eyes and look in the mirror. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, my fantasy is me, but a slightly better shape. Yeah, I'm like, sure. what is this even? I'm six inches taller. Yeah. And then they say you prioritize spanking it and quality time with yourself over the pursuit of dates. Well, those are two very different things. Yeah. But that's, again... One of them is like when I'm spanking and I'm picturing myself spanking it. And when I'm having sex, I'm picturing myself, you know, having sex with myself. The other one's like, yeah, dates are a hassle. So you just rather watch TV. Yeah. Or, you know, or you're broke. So then sometimes you're in a, so everyone's in a bit of a color me. I guess I'm a little bit of an autosexual myself sometimes. Yep. Well, anyone in a relationship too, you go, she's like, hey, you want to go, uh. You know, like go to this expensive restaurant. You're like, I was thinking you just go do your own thing. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't make you an autosexual. It makes you just like over it. Yeah. It's not an autosexual. No, autosexual specific. Like, erotic the dreams moment you're, about yourself. The mo- yeah. The moment you're closing your eyes when you're having sex with a woman and you're picturing yourself as the woman. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's like. That sounds like the it's a whole first, new batch of problems. That also sounds like someone that's not, you know, experimenting being gay. I guess, but then you're like, that's you? It's still, if anything, it would be like, you're giving it to some person and then they turn around and the, the wig comes off or it's like a dude <laughs> with long hair and you go, ah! Well, that's what they said, that you have dreams about, exotic dreams about yourself. You go, that's not a dream, that's a nightmare. <laughs> it's a literal nightmare. Yeah, you go, yeah, you're getting like all the <laughs> fucking ass you can get, but it's your ass. No, you're literally in the fantasy, you're having three of these two odd jigs, they're giving you head, they both look up with your face. <laughs> It's a nightmare. And then you start inspecting it a little further, your body, and you go, oh, my God. <laughs> no. No, you're at the wedding thing. Yeah, you're about to get married, and it's like this hot girl, and she takes off the thing. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, your yeah, fucking yeah, fat yeah, face. You're, you go, oh, God. No. Oh, no. But some people would be like, that's a dream. That's the dream of the autos. That's Yeah, the dream of the auto is like a hot chick with your face. And you go, okay, this doesn't exist for a guy. There's, I don't think there's... No a- way. Yeah. Because a- this requires a level of narcissism that only really women are programmed with. Like, guys are narcissists, but not... Like, the pie chart is definitely way more women. And this is what they say in response to what you just said. While it may be common for people to assume that narcissism and autosexuality are inherently intertwined, the judgment... So a little bit of a... A little judgy. Judgy, yeah. A little, uh, a little judgy, judgy Kathy over here. A little judgy here. ladies. <laughs> the, this judgy judgment is not only wrong, but hurtful and offensive to autosexual people. Well, maybe right, your autosexual you stuff's hurtful to uh, nurses. <laughs> maybe. Hurtful to autosexual people. I want to meet the hurt autosexual person. He goes, my identity. 
The other person that's not, not your costume. Yeah, yeah, having sex with his wife, looking at himself in the mirror, closing his eyes <laughs> to picture himself, and you're like, you're a narcissist, and he was like, that is hurtful that's to my people. sickening that uh, you'd even say that. Yeah, now you're going to be, this is giving a bad name to my people who actually have a... a Per- Do you think that it's hurtful for narcissism because Trump is like the best known narcissist like that? He's so attached to that. They'll be like, what are you, th- what are you saying? Yeah. They, well, they're just, you're, you're nail on the head saying that it's girls. For sure. And they're just saying like, uh, I'm, I could never be a narcissist. Yeah. There's nothing I could do. That, uh, there's no level of thing. Anything that they say. That, I can do like, no wrong. It's the, I can do no wrong stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I go, oh, what? I'm not a narcissist. This and, is my sexual orientation. Yeah, they, they have like an answer for everything, how it's like something else and that thing's untouchable. Yeah. You go, well, no, narcissist is something that needs to be changed. This is something that's actually about you that's like perfect. I mean, again, they turned this into their gender. They turned narcissism into gender expression. Exactly. This is my gender. This is and, and you know, something you, that I can't You know, like, I could literally like get you thrown in jail for challenging me on this. Like, They're, They would, I bet you these people would put narcissism lower than pedophile on the spectrum. When you were like, you know, narcissism, you go, that's the worst thing. You could be a pedophile. You go, we can't help that. Yeah. What are you <laughs> you're you're born do? that way. I, don't know. Well, I think they would. Yeah. That should know. be a good campaign to get like narcissism as a sexuality into their thing and then force them to have like narcissism in the thing. <laughs> yeah. Just add it to the, like a troll group. Add it to the two SL. Yeah. Still, get, still, and, lo- still learning to do this new acronym. Hey, we're putting an N in there, and they're just like, "What does this N stand for?" <laughs> you go, mm, I don't know. Three guesses. Could be necro. Good luck. So, what to do if your partner's autosexual? Don't take it personally. You know, if you're having sex with your girlfriend. Yeah, just- try try and be a dude <laughs> doing this shit with a straight girl and try and get her to not take it personally where you would rather picture yourself than her yeah. they're just saying the dude has to not take it personally that she's picturing I, yeah, herself in the course, mirror course. she's honestly giving I, you head with her eyes closed and you go i guess it's fine picturing that it's my dick she's picturing herself but like imagine like yeah that she, you're having sex with your girl and your eyes are closed and she knows that you're thinking about her as you yeah 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 don't take it personally. It was like, you know, it's important to realize this isn't about you. It's just how she's in love with herself and there's nothing wrong with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Everybody knows that that's a, just a rock solid answer for stuff in your relationship is be like, no, no, this is just a me problem. It's not about you. Well, yeah. Like that's ever worked where you go, why are you like looking at all those fucking chicks and this and that? And you go, it has nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with you. Yeah. It's just, it's just something I'm working out. And if you could just give me some time and some space, I'll, I'll get through this. Yeah, this is just a part of my we'll sexuality get that I was just like, I'm frosty sex. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I just I'm ripper central. Rub and tub I'm, sexual. Yeah, I'm rub and tub sexual. It's like it's, ah, I wish I wasn't born this way. <laughs> Tug sexual. <laughs> so it's not you though. What's that? That's uh, the sound of my people. <laughs> That's the sound oh, of my people. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's, the tugboat it's like the the pineapples for swingers upside down tugboat (laughs) i wish that i wasn't like this i'm tug sexual (laughs) it's a fucking nightmare what is tug sexual it's like when i have enough money not that often but i go to the fucking tugs twice a week after work before i come home i wish it wasn't like this you know what i really like to think too that maybe i I was born this way (laughs) Yeah, the Lady Gaga tug anthem. I like to think, though, that we're, I don't know if we've quite reached this kind of level of success with this podcast, but maybe the next tier where we talk shit about the autosexuals and then like we're get, this clip is getting passed around in autosexual like, support groups being like, they're making fun of us. There's been things like that. Yeah, yeah but this sure. is so niche. This is wish like, motherfucking, I wish the autosexuals would start the war. I, well, I love it. If you listen to this, autosexuals, come at us, bro. Sis. Yeah, all, well, it's... Yeah, it's mostly ladies i'm tug sexual i was born this way <laughs> baby i was born to tug <laughs> to get tug oh yeah fuck <laughs> for me i was born to be tugged so that's uh auto sexuals that's you talking to your tug. wife yeah yeah you're super reasonable we're talking we're talking <laughs> and then you have to be supportive you have to be supportive of every fucking dumb Everything, shit girl yeah. does right well once it becomes an identity oh yeah right? like once it becomes your gender identity then you go well if you're not going to support it then you're literally hitler i'm supposed to live in a world 
where I'm an auto sexual and I'm not being supported. But the thing is, you're supposed to be. Women have kind of conned us into supporting their like mental stuff too, though. So it's not even like they had to make this. It's just for themselves. They've caught. They've. They've. they've like if they go, I'm a narcissist. That's diagnosed. Were you going to not support me? You'd be like, oh, I guess I have to support you. Support and encourage your partner to explore their auto sexuality. So they don't even want you to just say be fine with it. They're saying like. You want to like help them on their journey, like, hey, I was just here's some pictures of you. No, you. If anything, you go, you get uh, one a of those latex, of <laughs> latex Halloween masks of you, and go, honey, I'm feeling frisky. You go, she's like, one sec, and she puts on your mask of your face. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's the world that they're. And then she blows you, but you're blowing yourself. That's how you be um, horror encourage your partner to explore it i can honestly say that receiving encouragement from partners made me feel more open to experiencing my full love for myself and engaging with my auto sexuality has improved how i engage with others i don't think i would be able to be supportive of that so you're probably gonna want to keep that puppy to yourself yeah that's what, what I'm happened thinking. to what happened to the relationships where you just you both hid as much of you could from each other until you were just old and dead you know, you just, you hit all day. Like, you remember, like, you ever hear those stories where some guy's on his deathbed and then he's just like, I was a, I was a Nazi concentration guard and, like, nobody knew. And you go, man, good on you for keeping that to yourself for that whole time. Or, like, right. yeah, you know, deathbed confessions of murders and stuff. And Does now, work it, a little bit, now right? it's all just like, oh, you murdered someone? Tell your partner. She'll support you. Otherwise, she's not the right one for you. And you go, oh. <laughs> Tell everyone everything. Everything. Nothing to yourself. Well, they say this is uh, the regressors. So regressors have been sort of popping up, and we're doing sort this of this is like a, a non-sexual. We're thing, doing right? sort of like a wacky person episode, right? But um, whoa, you're trying to say autosexuals are wacky, and not only are autos wacky. This is uh, so regressors are the people that like to look like babies and act like babies, right? And but there's uh, there's the other side of it too of the people who take take care of people like that as well. So there's people who are also like I like to caretakers. Take care, they're care, called caretakers, right? <laughs> yeah, I like to take care of people who pretend to be babies. Yeah, but it's not sexual. It's not. Th- no, no. This one is specifically. They go like that's age play, and they're like this is not a sexual thing. Oh, because there's some of the things they're like. I found out that he's also into age play. Right. Yeah. Like, well, that's they all are. <laughs> and some girl yeah, goes like, it. "Oh, I'm like a baby, <laughs> and I found a caretaker, and he he takes care of me." And then six weeks find later, find out he goes, his sickle is also into age. Play. <laughs> He says, shit's in age play this whole time. I thought he just wanted to take care of me. <laughs> That's what's happening. In a non-sexual <laughs> way. You know, they're, sis, they're always in age play. <laughs> I'm 20 years old and I wanted to pretend to be a baby and I found this 50-year-old guy to pay my rent <laughs> and take care of me. And then I got to fucking, I got to find out this sick fucks in age play. <laughs> Sick piece of shits in age play? Well, I never. I've never been so disgusted with someone's lack of moral character <laughs> in my life. Very hard to find a caretaker. This yeah, yeah, yeah they're person. all in age play. <laughs> and they're like, if they're not in age play, then they're all either basically trans or autistic. Okay, yeah. yeah. Dude, I was, uh, when we were walking back to the studio yesterday, uh, this this person walked up to me and it was like, so it was a basically all looked exactly like a guy in every single way. Right. Yeah. Um, except had a bow in the hair. Okay. And then comes up to me and starts going, you're a cutie, blah, blah, blah. And then I go, all right. Then he goes, yo, you got any money for me, cutie? And he starts saying stuff like that. And I go, bro, I'm good. And he goes, it's actually sis. And he goes, my name is Jessica. And I go, all right. And he's like kind of walking with me. So I'm just, you know, you're brushing them off. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. like how you do, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, like flies, you know? And I go, no, no. But then he, and he goes, I'm autistic. And he goes, and he goes, I'm autistic. And he goes, how do you mind if I ask you something? And I go, I, I'm in a hurry. I got to go. And he's like, you know, he goes, how'd you get that cute saying shit like this? And I go, okay, I'm, I'm just like walk away. But he's, and I was like, dude, I literally like, I go and he goes again, it's sis. And then he goes, yeah, people don't usually like the gay stuff, uh, you know, and they want to hurt me. So that's why I hurt myself. And he starts showing me his like cuts on his arms and stuff like this. This is when I'm walking about the Wendy's right when we, before we got here 
So this guy, but like it was your theory that there's like a crazy high amount of autism in the thing. But it's like the crazy part was not my theory. That's someone else's theory. It's well, like, real though. The crazy sure. part was not changing anything. Zero, zero modifications. Just on Jessica now. He's a um, beard. He's a uh, Jim Carrey, the bodybuilder from Remember in Living Color. It legitimately, it was the bodybuilder Jim Carrey. <laughs> Just in the he's bo- straight yeah. up, put his hair in one no- one normal hair. hair. And, yeah, little bow tie in the hair. Yeah. Not even trying. Well, the, yeah. f- the funniest one of regressors was this person that said they're looking for applicants. So this is a big one. So basically, it's kind of the same thing as uh, the bull and the, how, how do you find one, right? So this person says, hello, I've been interested in becoming a caregiver. So oh, this person is like, yeah, 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 yeah. I've been interested in becoming a caregiver. Mama for quite a while now. And I've decided to go out there and try to find a little one to take care of. So this is a mama. Uh, to have The mama might be a little less likely to be into age play, but hopefully somewhere in my general area. Apologies for formatting. I'm on the mobile app. I'm currently 19, turning 20, closer to the end of the year pretty soon, and I've decided, searching for a little one, I've come up with a list of things that uh, I want. So this is their list of what they want when they're looking for someone to be their... Uh, like their little one 50 year old per i guess this person is going to find like a, a grown-up that's going to act like a baby and they want to take care of so that's yeah. the, that's the most insane one because there's uh, there is literally no person that's just like yeah i just want to take care of a grown-up acting like a baby and i'm not gonna it's not gonna be anything Nothing sexual, sexual about it. yeah i mean one of the parties wants something sexual duh at least i mean my, one of them might not though there might be one party who's like naive or there's I a party that's like, the, oh, she knows this comes with the person paying for all their stuff. So they go, yeah, I'll put the diaper on if you pay the rent. <laughs> you come home, you go, all right, yeah, put your put your diaper on. You go, okay, are we happy now? Can I go to bed? I got work tomorrow. Put the pacifier this chick's, in. This chick's got a lot of rules, too. She goes, you need to be comfortable with dressing up, talking like a baby. So this is like a job. I'm sure there are girls kind of cruising through this being like, what does it pay? So you go to their house. No, but this is a woman too, though. She's looking for a No, I think she's looking, she's looking for, for something. It's weird, though, because are you comfortable with baby talking? And they're like, yeah, like they must be. Are you okay with video and phone calls? Being touched, hugs, cuddles, snuggles. And then, so you basically you have to be like, uh, they go, Gucci, you, you are going to get <laughs> Yeah, you gotta do all that stuff. So this is for anyone that's interested. This is uh, an option for you. Would you be? What would it take for you to go do this job where you go? You have to act like a baby for. A I month? would have to literally be on. Uh, what's the fucking that sketch show? The uh, the one, the, with the prank show that we know the Jimmy Kenny experiment. No, 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 the one with Sal on it or whatever. The oh, uh, practical jokers. jokers. It would have to be in practical jokers where they like I have an earpiece in. And then they go, all right, this is, and I make $10 million a year from this show. And they go, all right, you got to go full baby costume. And What's the minimum? And they're feeding you things in your ear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just tell them you need a change. I need a change. The baby needs a change. Baby needs a change. <laughs> <laughs> I need you. I'm going to need you to baby it up there, Danny. Baby needs a change. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so how much would it, co- would it take for someone to say, hey, We'll even give you okay, girl and guy's obviously different. Yeah. But let's say guy. So this guy and he's there's not gonna be any sexual stuff, even though he wants it, you don't have to do it. Yeah. So you go to the guy's house, you're gonna have to walk around in a diaper. Is he changing my diaper and do I have to soil my diaper? You have to soil your diaper, but he doesn't have to change it. Number two soil? He probably has to change it. He, how's, I'm a baby. So I he's gonna have to change I the can't diaper. change my diaper. So okay, but then now we're just asking up how much for gay stuff. So let's go a girl. <laughs> okay, so it's the girl. Okay. Okay, so you have to go. She's going to change your diaper, but there's not going to be any sexual stuff. But she, you're wearing a diaper. You have to do baby talk. You have to do the snuggles. You have to wear the pacifier. You have to crawl around. You have to sleep in the crib. I have to soil my diaper. You have to soil your diaper. How much? <laughs> a month. A month straight. This is my whole life? No, a month. You don't have to do a month. But I'm saying like every day for a month? You live at this house. and I don't. live at a house as a baby for, for a, month. a month. Yeah. You're shitting, answering her thing. Answering her thing, shitting myself. What happens when she leaves? Can I go be myself? Or she's there, like she's nest, there four there like or five can? hours a day. When she leaves, you can probably just go back to normal, but you probably have to put the baby clothes on still because when she gets back, she'll like, be mad. Yeah, right. Yeah, like I can't, I can't break character at all. Well, you probably just want to have this stuff in because if she comes in and she's like, you're wearing a suit and tie, she's going to be like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's not very baby-like of you. <laughs> um, and 
I don't know. A, lo- a month? A lot. Six figures for sure. Of God, duh. I don't know. I didn't think you were going to do it for 20 grand. I'm sure lots of people would do it for 20 grand. I didn't think you would. No, I would not. I thought you were going to say higher than that, to be honest. I mean, dude, if someone right now who goes, here's fucking quarter of, quarter of a million dollars right. to do this. Like, I don't know. I mean, I shit myself once a month anyways. I would think what probably does she look like? 200K would start to make sense if no one else knew about it. Yeah, of course. Nobody else knows about it. <laughs> I mean, she'll know about it. I feel like if she's... Because you, your instinct is like, I want her to be hot. But then I feel like it would be more embarrassing if she was hot. Like, I'd want her to be I less, know ex- That's I'd want her so to be true. less hot. Because I'd want if her to she's be like hot, a like, you'd be like this hot girl being like, look at this loser, right? And then you're like, she's changing your diaper. It's a more you emasculating. You get hard and you're like, so many it's wires. It's way more emasculating if she's hot. Yeah, right? If she's gross, you're just like, this is a is a job. This is a gig. <laughs> 100 this is a gig. If she's hot, it's a gig. <laughs> yeah. If she's gross, it's a gig. Yeah. But if she's hot, a little part of you is like, she's thinking the whole time, like, this guy probably wants me to yeah, do stuff. Yeah, and, and then you're like, in your mind, you're like, fuck, could I? Like, what scenario? Yeah, you're thinking like, I've got to, yeah, then you're wearing your baby outfit being like, yo, you mind if I, and she's like, hey, baby, you're not allowed to touch mom, stop it. Yeah, and you have to be like, you got turned down. Put your pacifier you have to, and go you have watch to, your cartoon. You got to suck the titties? Go in the corner. You, you try to make a move on her, and now you're in the corner. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta suck the titties. Is that a part oh, of it? Oh, that's huge. Breast milk. And uh, then now we're back to the changes because old lady, you don't want to suck the titties. No, you don't. Hot suck. lady, you, that bit's just a perk. But then you'd be like, "All right, enough with the titty sucking." Do loud noises bother you? Accidental slamming and raised voices. I don't know what the slamming is. Are you comfortable with punishment and no spanking? So this girl's not gonna spank you. Okay. What if you've been bad? She just uh, punishes you. I think that's like you go back to your crib and stuff like that. Right. Bedtime's comfortable for you, so you're going to get the David Goggins schedule. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going full. You're waking up at 4 a.m. A playful poking fun. Look at those chubby cheeks. So that's the kind of stuff she says to you. Oh, you slipped so comfy. Look at those chubby cheeks. This is well, this one's so funny just because she goes, example, look at those chubby cheeks. Oh, you slipped so clumsy. And then Dash, we'll ask if okay, though. <laughs> We'll run this by you when you're, no. when you're not pretending to be a baby. No, he's saying, she's saying when you slip, she'll say, oh, look, you're so clumsy, but are you okay from this? No, slip? I think what Ask is okay, though, is they're like, I'm going to run these by you. Uh, the chubby cheeks one makes sense, but the yeah. slipped and fall, I think she's saying, and oh. I'm checking to see if you're slipped oh. and fall, fine after you slipped and fall. Like, you know, it's like, oh, you slipped and fall, I'm going to say you're clumsy, but don't worry, I'm also going to check to make sure that your knees aren't scraped <laughs> yeah. and stuff like that from your fall. Would it be okay to take pictures of you making? Sna- <laughs> oh, this is looking good for Danny. Will will making snacks be welcome? Oh yeah, you don't like <laughs> snacks, huh? So I think you go. Yeah, the funny one is like, will it be okay for you to be soiling your diaper? And the other is like, well, I, I I should ask this, but consent's very important <laughs> to me. Are you fine with me making you snacks? Do you like cookies? Yeah, you go. The snacks are gonna be fine. Snacks are fine. Snacks, snacks are, fine. are fine. Snacks are fine. Clean my diaper. <laughs> You go, this is my baby voice. I need you to use a baby voice. This is how I talked when I was a baby. I've always talked like this. Uh, what about spooky themes? Are you okay with being spooked? If it's too I don't like that. You don't want to be too spooky. I don't want to be too spooky. Ooh, too spooky. Baby's getting spooked. So yeah, that's the first be, one. Can't be too spooky. I got pretty spooked when I was a kid. Did you ever see the peanut butter solution? If anybody saw it, pretty spooky. Oh, yeah, that's a... Uh, <laughs> Pretty spooky Canadian movie. What was it the story? Is the kid uh, loses his hair in a nightmare, and then uh, and then he figures out this like puts peanut butter on his head, and then it makes his hair grow back, but then yeah. it keeps it won't stop growing. And then this one kid in his class finds out, and then he puts the peanut butter because they're like ten, and he puts it on his balls, and he's got hair coming out of his pant leg. Bad he's news. Pretty spooky. Pretty spooky. One person who's listening to this has seen that movie. Okay. Well, the last thing we'll talk about, we'll do a f- we'll do a few more of those when we do the Patreon tomorrow. But um, the we 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 meant to talk about this last week, but the landlord, as a guy that's looking for places right now, yeah, um, and as people that are, I'm both a tenant and a landlord, yeah. But there was this landlord that did you you found a place though? What you found a place? Well, how do you think I did it? You gotta suck them off. Give him that dude. sloppy toppy. <laughs> 
I've been getting, they're all scumbags, dude. All of these fucking brokers and everything, each one's scummy. New York is especially like New York straight up. The city is just, I don't know who designed this, but like it's this entire city is designed to put every person through the ringer. This like place. The, the, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Thing is like you, the more you live here, you go yeah, I get it. And they're not even talking about show business; they're just talking about getting through life. Yeah, 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 dude. They have a thing at these places where the rate rents for the the rates for the rent change uh, by a computer, right? So I did a lease, and then they went down three hundred dollars. And then I told the guy, I'm like, hey. It's gone down three hundred dollars. So, like, because what happened was I did it at the original rate, and then he gave me a contract, and it went up. And he goes, "They went up," and I was like, "All right, like, give me a second. I'm gonna like look around if that's the case." And then it went back down, and I was like, "So I'm looking at it again, and it seems like the normal prices." And they go, "So it went back down." He goes, "Well, sir, if that's something that you want to do," and I was like, "What?" I was like, "The thing went down. Why would I pay three hundred dollars more a month?" And then he was like, well, I, "He goes." Well, I, I I don't know. Like, what happens is the prices go up and they go down. So that's something that happens. And when you did it, that was the price. And I'm like, I understand that, but I've given you zero dollars so far, yes. and the price is not. Gone I would down. like the sale price, please. Duh! Like, if I walk to a place to buy a computer, and then you do ding, 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 it just went to half price, and I'm in the line at the cash register, and I've given you zero dollars. Like, or I like, I mean, everybody it's happened to where you go ring out and they go, oh, it's actually on sale. Yeah, and then you go. That's the. They go. That's oh, the, it's on sale in the system. Let me adjust that back to the regular price. <laughs> Literally, that's the etiquette. So I go to this guy. I'm just like, but obviously it's like higher now. So when I give the other one, he goes. He goes, sir. I will say this again. Uh, I feel like I'm repeating myself right now. But those prices go up and down based on computers and market rents. And I go, stop for a second. Did you say based on computers. <laughs> Well, he's giving me this energy. He goes, based on market rent. And I, 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 I legitimately stop this guy and I go, or let's like take a pause for a second. I go, what are you, I, I, is, is what happening right now? You're being annoyed that I'm asking you. I go, you have 80 places for rent right now. So it's, you know, it's a big place. It's like, pretend you don't know me. I go, yeah, we got a bunch of places here. You signed me up at a rate. It went up. I've not signed the deal. It's now gone back down. And you're flabbergasted as to why I might be inquiring? Like, is this, am I, you think I'm being out of pocket here? Yeah. And then he goes, no, I'm just, and I go, so what, what's going on right now? Why, why am I, I feel like I'm getting attitude from you. And why is that? And he goes, he's like, at this point, he backed off yeah. a little bit. And then I go, okay, so what do we have to do to get the normal price? And then the guy goes, what did you have to do? Well, he goes, you, you can, he goes, <laughs> because you ever heard of an autosexual? <laughs> What he says is, he goes... What do you know about age play? He goes, well, you can take the chance if you want to release that unit, and then, uh, you know, you could do it again after, And at the, but there's a chance that you lose it. I go, yeah, do that. Like, so what, I, five minutes later? The five minutes you could lose it? Not, yeah. <laughs> like, Legitimately, up the this. guy releases the unit. I just sign up for it again at 250 bucks cheaper, and then the guy calls me, and he was like, okay, we'll do the next steps. I go... All right, so before that... <laughs> I would like an apology. Yeah, I go, you were like acting like what I was doing was insane, and it took me 15 minutes to get a, a $250 price. Like, And he goes, well, that's a chance. That you, like, he wouldn't oh, admit yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. He wouldn't even admit he's it. He's dying with that one, huh? <laughs> this guy, uh, they're, they're total sleazeballs. Yeah. I'll tell you, New York, New York uh, landlords and stuff, and they're all, they're back. They had they had a couple rough years, unprecedented rough years. Where like they were so in charge for a, literally a century, yeah, like a hundred years. It was like yeah, they were it's th- them or nothing. And then they had two years where it was tough on them, and now they're they're really stepping on people's necks again. Well, that's that is exactly what's happening. And worse than that, this landlord. <laughs> this is like a pretty big story, but the guy's going to jail and everything. He had like a, a bunch of tenants, and this is in Vegas. And this fucking, this dude, Alan Rothstein, a so Vegas one landlord, of us, huh? he would basically get all these people to live in his place, and then he would give them contracts, and in the contract, they had to have sex with them, right? Yeah. <laughs> they're not even like, they're like specific things, too. <laughs> one of the things in the contract, probably my favorite one, is the girl's not allowed to have a boyfriend that's more physically fit <laughs> than that guy because he doesn't want someone that can beat him up. 
He's like, if you want to have some fat slob that's your boyfriend, that's fine. But you can't have some muscle bound guy no. that's going to kick my ass. Or not even kick his ass. He just like is jealous. I thought it was more that because he knows like any girl that's with a boyfriend, you know, you say it's some like Vegas prostitute type, right? But she starts dating some guy that's like big and she's like, yeah, I got a deal with my landlord where I have to bang him. And the guy's like, wait, what? What? And then the show, like, I want to have a word with the guy. The guy's like, no, 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 that's um, not in the contract. Excuse me, look at subsection 14 clause Four, there will be no words with the boyfriend. Yes, wild, right? So he had this scam going on forever. I mean, part of it is like, you go. I mean, the fact girls that girls can be convinced of anything. Yeah, well, he got her in a really tough spot. So, her, oh. there was a, he had four. More I know, than but one. The, well, the one in this article, a homeless yeah, yeah. mother of five. Who was like got what I got, yeah, but it was, wasn't the only girl. No, I know. And then this girl, it was like he took. Yeah, you. But the fact that he, he, he this guy he had the straight nerve. up taking advantage. To put this in a contract where you're like, you're literally causing, you're like, you're going to go to jail because you put this crazy shit in your lease. I know. Well, Thinking he, they goes, well, it's in a lease. I think his idea was maybe that he won't get booked or he thinks like, well, if it's consensual, we have a contract. That's the deal. Yeah, like, it's like you, it's the ultimate consent. Yeah, but like you can't make prostitution contracts. Right. Well, maybe in Vegas you can. Because it's Vegas. Is Ve I don't think prostitution, you can make the contracts there. Or may Oh, I don't know. I know in Nevada or whatever. There's like, no scenario yeah, yeah. where you can make a contract where a girl has to uh, come have sex with me, but it's not uh, like you can't rip it up at any moment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can't rip it up. Well, I guess you have to, yeah, uh, end your tenancy or whatever. I don't know. Like the fact Demanded had regular blowjobs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> barred her from eating aphrodisiacs like oysters. <laughs> sea cucumbers. You know, she's eating, he comes over. This is, we're talking about a recently homeless mother of five who is paying $145 a month. Oh, That's what nice. Was. And he thinks she's going to be, he's going to be coming over and she's eating sea cucumbers. <laughs> is that high on food? Yeah. It's like, it's like a weird delicacy. I've never heard of sea cucumbers. And it says too, direct, cons he, he, uh, Form and a direct consent for sexual intercourse and or fellatio or cunnilingus form. So he basically had it in her lease where he goes, whenever I want to give you some cunnilingus, it's illegal to say no. Yeah, yeah. This illegal. Or I could sue you for every all the money back kind of thing. Insane. insane. What? I mean, if I was her. Girl in a tough spot, but it, it wasn't. This guy's been running this scam for years. I mean, the real scam is you scam the scammer. And then you sign up for this thing, and you'd be like, yeah, try and evict me. I'll never pay rent, so I'll see you in court. That is the- And you go like, I live here for free now. Oh, so good. Yeah, you go, you could blackmail this guy. Be like, yeah. And uh, by the way, I broke the contract, because here's my muscly boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, and, and as you're slurping an oyster, you go, hey, uh, <laughs> Alan. Alan Rothstein is here. <laughs> Got some bad news for you, pal. <laughs> Yeah, me and Sergio over here <laughs> move in, and he's uh, not happy about this whole contract thing. This is right. Sergio <laughs> not happy about the contract. There's two ways we Why can Why Sergio Russian? This. Uh, Sergio is because I'm like saying a badass Russian guy is the boyfriend. Why and Sergio, Sergio? Goes, Sergio? Is that not a Russian name? Sergey. 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 My name is Sergey. Sergey. <laughs> Sergey. <laughs> it's actually the name. Like. S I R space G A Y. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's Sergey a lot. <laughs> it is me, Sergey. And I am not happy about contract, but I'm willing to negotiate if you sign contract, include me on lease. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. And she goes, wait a second. She calls, she calls the Russian guy over and he, the, he goes, do you manage to get rid of that contract? He goes, good news. Uh, we made some changes to the contract and uh, half of the blowjobs I'm going to get now. <laughs> Sergey did a little bit of wheeling and dealing. Yeah. Be given a lot more handies. Looks like a nice house. The legal complaint states that Rothstein compelled Torres to sign a stack of lease agreements. So she was there. Her hand was getting tired with all the lease agreements. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty, it is fucked. I'm sure she's like, yeah, I'm trying to just like not be homeless with my five kids. And Direct like, well, consent for sexual intercourse or cunnilingus is so funny. She said a larger, meaner, or more physically aggressive boyfriend that owns firearms or is possessive. <laughs> or is possessive. Uh, yeah, no the initiator. No he calls himself the initiator. <laughs> I wonder how long this guy was doing this for. That's insane. I know, dude. 
that he would even have the like the nerve to you're so right out. though that's the perfect place to pull that move no 100 percent. like if i ever was a signer went to go rent a place and there was all these things i would just be like oh yeah yeah let me just sign sign there. all that yeah, yeah. Sign, oh yeah yeah i what do you want four six blowjobs a month how many blowjobs yeah and then while that? you're giving him the first blowjob <laughs> <you> would- <laughs> go, aha jokes on you i got bad news for you this is the last blowjob you'll be getting from me <laughs> So there's, uh, that's that, <laughs> fellas. Make sure you subscribe to our Patreon. Um, we had to because of my tour schedule. Uh, we're gonna do the the next Patreon live stream uh, in two weeks. So that's that's where we couldn't do it this week because. Yep. I'm back for one day, then there was studio renovations, but the week after, we will do them, and we'll make up for it by doing extra live streams if you're there, but patreon.com slash theboyscast. We got another banger episode for everyone who likes to support us. It's a you know badass way to support, answer all the questions, anything like that, so it's been cool hanging out with people from the Patreon on tour and shit like that as well. So this has been Not Your Mom's Podcast, The Boys Cast. Yeah, yo. The boys, the boys cast, the lads, the boys cast, the dudes, we're